teaching can be very isolating. You could be the only teacher in your school of that grade level. You could be in a remote community. And now with COVID where we're working in our own little bubbles, a lot of times those conversations are not happening with colleagues. You know, the conversations to make you excited, to engage you in your learning, to keep you fresh. And I find Twitter is a great source for that. Um, after about 22 years of teaching grade one, uh, it was decided that I would move up and teach grade six. And uh, let me tell you, I was so nervous. I was so, I thought, how am I going to do this? And one of the sources that I reached out to was, was Twitter. And I, and I put it out there and I asked people for their advice or for things that I could do in my classroom. And the response was, was, was overwhelming. One of the things that I really wanted to learn was uh, how to use Makey Makey. Never heard of it, didn't know what it was. And so I just one day put it out there. I said, what is this thing? And people started like writing in and then Makey Makey started giving me ideas and suggestions. And then I was getting into it. And you know, like I went to the dollar store and I took photographs of my shopping cart and I said, what else do I need? And then I documented the day. We had a huge Makey Makey day where the kids made all kinds of creations. And uh, people commented. I had, I had some people commenting around the world as to what was happening in my classroom. Makey Makey then took some of the photos and put it on their site. So it was, it was very, very su successful. And I don't think I would have had the courage to have done it without the Twitter community. Another thing I saw on, on Twitter was somebody had taken an old uh, overhead screen projector, you know, the kind that we had back in the, the 60s that everybody's got lying around in their classroom. And uh, they repurposed it and painted it green. And I was like, I got a green, I got a screen. We put it in a work order, it was painted green. And then all of a sudden I had a green screen. And then I put on Twitter, okay, I got a green screen. Now what do I do? And people gave me all kinds of suggestions for apps and different ideas that I could do in my classroom with, with a green screen. It is unbelievable the resources that you can get from Twitter and, and just, you, you might be stuck on an idea, an idea and just put it out there, put it on Twitter and ask people for help. So um, make your Twitter account very, very professional. Mine is, um, I don't have any friends. I don't put my family on it. I don't take pictures of my kids. I don't uh, have pictures of my pets. Everything on my Twitter feed has uh, to do with the teaching profession and, and what I do. Um, you never know who is going to, to look at these accounts. So make it very, very, very professional. Um, Twitter, it can be daunting, it can be nervous, and just, you know, get your get your foot wet a little bit and maybe start documenting the learning or watching what other people are doing, and you will see that it is a great resource to be brought into our classroom, and it, it just, it makes the learning community seem a lot smaller and a lot more connected. So I wish you well. See you on Twitter.